So Pearl's really excited to be a part of this beauty team today. So fashionable. Look at this. Are you going to weigh in on your favorite mascara and eyelash glue, perhaps? <laughs> eyelash glue. <laughs> well, she does like to wear false eyelashes on special occasions. Pearl wears false eyelashes? Sometimes. Oh, wow. You know, we have big there's, dates. There's, do there's doggy eyelashes? There could be. All we have to do is cut them to size. Maybe that's our next thing. I love that. Maybe that's our business venture. We can make like fashionable, you know, doggy, biodegradable. Um, Would you be our be muse, Pearl? Free eyelashes. <laughs> magnetic. Ooh, maybe magnetic ones. So you don't have to use glue. There you go. Perfect. You go. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>back with you today with something just a little bit different. I wanted to bring on the set, what we call this the set, bring, well, your lovely home. I am bringing myself Thanks. to your lovely home. This is one of my best friends and a woman that is just super inspiring to me through my makeup journey and just through life in general. Um, this is Kim Wadsworth and Hi. I'm gonna let you kind of introduce yourself a yeah, little bit. Yeah, well, it's so great because we're both all about beauty, making others feel beautiful, making ourselves try to look beautiful as well every single day. And we hope that together we can inspire you to feel that way as well and share some of our favorite things. Yes, absolutely. We wanted to share with you today some of our favorite makeup items, maybe some tips and tricks, things that we love. We are firm believers in every single person is beautiful through every single age. And we wanted to show you guys, whoever is watching, that you know some of our favorites kind of cross over and that made no sense because they don't. But. Well, <laughs> well, the, well but the thing I think we agree upon is that uh, no matter what your look is and what your age is, they're just tried and true products that through experience and through doing lots and lots of faces that you and I have done, we have found they really work regardless of whether you're 20 or 80, it doesn't matter. They really work. And so that's what we want to do, share. Yeah, because beauty is for absolutely everybody. And I do a lot of makeup alongside Kim. We do a lot of weddings together. She mm -hmm. is the premier artist for brides. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. I'm I mean, a bride whisperer. She is a bride whisperer. So I tend to, of course, wear pretty dark, extravagant, like more gothic makeup looks. I do like my dark lipstick and my dark eyeliner, but I, especially as a makeup artist, I of course have a lot of different clients with a lot of different needs. Everyone has a different skin type, skin texture. Everybody likes a different style of eyeshadow or lip. So I really wanted to come here today and share some of my favorites that I think not work only just for me, but on a, on a wide variety of people for a lot of different reasons. And also have Kim over here who's going to show you some of her favorites um, that, that work also for if you're trying to do something like this, if you want something more natural, works great for brides. It's everything just kind of mixes together. And that's what I love so much about makeup and so much about the beauty community is that it, it is for everybody, no matter who you are. And I think a lot of things really just translate throughout throughout the ages. Absolutely, and I do think that um, there's a beautiful balance. And because the makeup that I tend to do in general is not as extreme, but women still wanna feel very bright. They want that pop, they love color. It's just that my clientele tends to tone that down a little bit more. But I learn so much from your ideas and I can take some of your ideas and I just sort of you know, make them a little bit calmer and not, not as vibrant or as extreme. But today we're gonna show you really some of our favorites that actually could work. They could work in your, your bag, your makeup bag, and yours could work in mine. Absolutely. So we tried to narrow it down to five items and that didn't happen. So I kind of narrowed it down to six with like a, maybe a seven in there. We sort so, of cheated. We sort of cheated. It's so hard when there are so many things out there that we love. And a lot of things that I picked are sort of new obsessions, but I, th I also picked a couple of things that I've been really enjoying for a long time as well. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them. So to start, I am going to show with you my favorite two, two primers. Um, I have one tried and true. This is my all-time favorite, the Hourglass. For class. sure, for sure. It is amazing. I know everybody's probably already heard of it, maybe has already tried it. If you hadn't, if you have not, please do. It is their Mineral Veil Primer. It does have sunscreen in it, which we are gonna get into a little bit later. Yes. Um, no, we're not, because that's a different video. You'll see that video at another time. <laughs> but we both agree that sunscreen is extremely important, so any way you can get it, please do. Um, but I really love this primer because it smooths any skin type. 
It just hides a, 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 a lot of sins, yes. that's for sure. It does. It is oil free. I have dry skin and I still don't have any issues with it. It has worked with almost every single foundation I've ever tried. Of course, I haven't tried every foundation. There's always going to be that one that maybe it balls up a little bit because mm -hmm. of the sunscreen in it. Right. But so far, I haven't really come into that issue. And it grips the makeup no yeah. matter what. I could be outside all day for 12 hours and this is still going to be there holding strong. And, and what's your second one? And my second one is a new I haven't tried favorite, this one. Do tell. New favorite. So I have not been, I have not really been on the train of the Farsali drops. Um, I know those are super popular with a lot of people, but I honestly hadn't really tried too many of them until this one came out, which is the Farsali liquid glass. Ooh. I'm obsessed. So I have a very deep passion for K Beauty. I absolutely follow the K Beauty skincare regimen. It has completely changed my skin. More on that later, video coming. Um, but this primer was made to sort of mimic the glass skin effect that is really popular with K-Beauty and it is multi-purpose and that's what I love about it. You can use it during skincare as a serum, you can use it as a primer, you can add it to foundation and you can use it after your foundation. Whoa. It's, so you can mix it both in moisturizer yep. and in foundation? You can mix it anywhere And the you efficacy want. of it still works? Absolutely. Wow. I've used it with a couple different types of foundations. I've used it with NARS, I've used it with Kat Von D and it doesn't make anything separate. It mm -hmm. will make your skin very, very, very dewy. So if you are using a very matte foundation, just be prepared for that, which honestly I love. I have dry skin and I love matte foundation, but yeah. I do want to have something that's a little dewier. Mm -hmm. And it is just so pretty. It's like almost a... It looks pearlized. Yes, it's like a pearlized, Ooh, gorgeous. kind of like lavender color. I want to try, Definitely. I want to try. You know what, just feel this. Yeah, feel, feel yeah. Bit. I know you haven't had a chance to try it yet. And it really does make your skin wow. like glass. So on that note, like if I'm, so I love the Air Flash. I know it's been around, but you know what? They're adding new colors now. Mm -hmm. So more than ever, and I find this really hides a lot of a lot of imperfections that some of my older clients have. They're really bothered by broken capillaries, um, sunspots that are showing through, and this Air Flash really helps. So if I'm wondering if I put a little bit on my favorite brush, my artist brush, Great love brush. that, and then put it on over that. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. That really does a nice job. You know, I'd see and I like I like seeing that still that glow coming through. So it gives you that nice glass skin effect. Everything is Can't very smooth, wait to very try. glowy. Your skin just looks absolutely perfect, which I think the Air Flash is actually a great foundation to use with that. I really love that for Yeah, clients. for that's, sure. That's, I think it's beautiful. That's definitely the go-to like bridal foundation for me personally. It is. It's smooth. nice. It's lightweight. It's doesn't. It's not too heavy. But then if I really want to hide some things, I can use it. And you showed me a great trick when I told you sometimes I have trouble finding um, foundations that adhere to certain skins, mm -hmm. that the pores keep p popping through, even with primer and everything. You gave me a great tip, and that's what I've been doing. I've been using this great full coverage uh, Makeup Forever, putting that on first, uh, like on the nose area, which is a really tricky, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm baffled by this, it just <laughs> won't stick. And you said that skin is completely different mm -hmm. on the nose. The, the cartilage on your nose is different from the skin everywhere else on your face. So a lot of times if you have a foundation that it just feels like no matter what you do, it just does not stick to your nose. Mm -hmm. Just put a little concealer there first because it's a thicker texture and then you're going to cover it with the foundation and just sticks a little bit better. Yeah, so I tried that with the full cover and it worked beautifully, then put my air flash over it. But what I love is that having this dew I know is still going to shine through. So mm -hmm. I'm loving that little trifecta of do cover yep. it seems like well doesn't that kind of too much of a mix there but I think it works perfectly it works. because even you know a lot of a lot of clients that I have you know everybody wants to have the perfect skin and a lot of times when you're trying to hide rosacea if you're trying to hide like yes. you said, like broken capillaries you're trying to hide you know like I personally I'm still dealing with some old acne scars mm -hmm. sunspots you know, for my older clients things like that yeah. but you want to look fresh especially when you get into brides. I mean, mm -hmm. you want to look fresh and dewy. So I think this is a great way to do that, to be able to cover absolutely everything without it looking heavy, without it looking dry. Mm -hmm. And it's just kind of that nice little, it's almost like being your own little scientist, sort of mixing things together. Right. Science rules.
And, and I, I think that's a great point too, is not being afraid to mix that. You, you learn from these things and you try it out yourself, getting little samples, making sure that that works for your skin type, I think is so, so important. And that's what we do all the time. It's yeah. not like we just buy and try, you know, that's the beauty of getting those little samples, making sure that it works for your skin type. Absolutely. Absolutely. And on that note, I'm actually going to share one of my new favorite foundations. So it is the Kat Von D Locket Powder. That packaging makes I me know. crazy. Isn't it so cute? So I love cute. that it looks like a wax seal. Yeah. And then of course you open it up and it's that amazing red color. So I just feel like a vampire queen every time <laughs> I take this out and fix my face. But I of course was a firm believer in her old powder. And when I thought that she got rid of it, I cried a river Aww. and then <laughs> and then thankfully she came out with a new one so it is a and little are you bit... applying it with a sponge or with brush or how are you doing it so that's the cool thing about this you can apply it with a sponge which it comes with a brush or you can do a thick foundation brush which is mm. kind of the new thing about this powder specifically is it's extremely customizable so could I do a yep. brush like this absolutely which you would never brush? you would never think to do with I powder. wouldn't but mm. I can and it'll yep. be fine and that's how you because it's a very creamy powder mm, um, I love that and it's a, it's matte but it's more of a velvet, so you don't look super dry. I'll use this on top of my foundation. I, of course, like a very porcelain look. Yes. Now, I do wear the Kat Von D Locket foundation, so I'm putting a very heavy foundation with, a, you know, obviously a full coverage powder. Right. But for me, you know, that's, that's, that's my look. That's what I enjoy doing. So to kind of tone it down a little bit on my dry skin, I will mix in oils or use like the glass primer to just sort of, um, make it look flawless, but not, of course, you know, cakey. That's, mm -hmm. you know, everybody's favorite word is cakey because nobody wants to look like that. Exactly. And, you know, what's what's funny, I think, is a lot of people don't realize where that term even came from. And it's just, you know, when you, you make a cake, you're mixing dry and wet ingredients together. So a lot of people will think that, your, you know, a foundation is inherently cakey. It's not. What's mm -hmm. cakey is is putting wet and dry together. Right. And you mix that, and then you have, of course, a batter. <laughs> <laughs> so just be careful when you're using a lot of, um, like, hydrating oils and things like that with your foundation that you're not putting your powder on too quick because mm -hmm. then that's when you're going to Let it seep in. Issue. Let yep. it sort of yep. mellow out a little yep. bit. And remember, too, the younger you are, the more active your sebaceous glands are. So you're already producing oil all the time, especially in that T-zone area. Whereas when you get really over 40 to 50, that starts to sort of tone down. Even those with the most oily skin, I find my clients are saying, you know, I don't have that oil problem anymore. So then you don't have those obstacles to kind of leap over or dodge or move around. So mm -hmm. I think that's a great powder. I can't wait to try it. You definitely should give it a go. And I want to. one more uh, little pro tip here, which I've recently started doing. Yeah. I know I like to shower and then immediately do my makeup, but my body temperature is still really hot. I always forget that. I don't like cold showers. So after I apply all my liquids, I'll literally just go open up the freezer and just stand there for a second. I just, just let the cold air <laughs> just hit my face. So I love that yep. tip. What am I gonna do on just, location? Just freeze your face. I, well, that I don't know, but <laughs> for me at home, yep, I just stand in front of the freezer. I might look a little crazy, but it dries everything really quick, and then right. I can go in with my powder. Okay, at home trick. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I love that. Tips and tricks from the crypt. <laughs> <laughs> from the crypt. Well, I love speaking of shine and matte and shine. It's like, where do you do the matte? Where do you do the shine? So. I'm a little more careful and cautious with my clients who are a little bit older. They want shine, but it's all about where to place the shine, being careful. Whereas for you, with your look, you can shine everywhere and you do it perfectly. <laughs> you've got it on top of your nose, you've got it on the side, you've, you're doing it beautifully right around the or orbital area that looks so good up above the cheekbones. I have to be a little bit more careful with my clients who are a little bit older. Um, of course, my younger clients want lots and lots and lots. So of course, my fave, can't help it, love this hourglass. Do you not love this? I love that hourglass. I, mean, I like it because I feel like I have lots of choices. There are some days, especially in the summertime, when I've got clients who are like, I want to be bronzy, I want to feel beachy, and I want to be glowy. So I love that because I kind of have that all inherent right there. And when I want to pop close to the eye, I've got this little pal of mine that can do on the outer, I can do it on the inner, a little above the bow of the lip if I want to. And then I even got, have those soft, wonderful, blushy tones that still give me glow. So this is is my fave. Thanks to you, you turned me on to it, and I love, love, love this hourglass piece, so, this uh, hourglass powder so much. But I will tell you, in general, for my little go-to, I love the Charlotte Tilbury. 
it's and really <laughs> great. I love her so much. Um, she's my kind of girl and everything, these powders are really matte. So what I do is I'll do this and create all of my little contouring that I wanna do if I don't wanna over contour. And I have a lot of people who don't want a lot of contouring. It scares them, it's too much. So I can just go nicely with this one, put that little pop of cheek right on the apple. Then I'll come in and then place very carefully where I wanna have all that shine and pop. So this is kind of my little duo that I like to travel with. And I know it seems crazy, but it kind of gives me a little bit of, a little bit of everything. Yeah, and I think those are, you know, it makes sense because those powders, they're a little more skin-like when you apply them. Um, they do make one that's like a really, really light powder that I've used in the past. It's my all-over kind of finishing what, powder. What, Hourglass or Charlotte mm -hmm. Tilbury? It's the Hourglass. I oh, think okay. it's the Ethereal Light. And I didn't, uh, back in the day, I didn't understand what a finishing powder was, so I kind of just set my makeup with it. But even now, I'll still sometimes go in and use it after I set Is my makeup. Is that loose? It's a, it's a pressed one. Oh, pressed, It's okay. a pressed one, but it's just almost like a faint white glow. And all mm. their powders just look like this glow from within. I know, they're so mm. yummy. They are so great. They are so amazing. And now that palette was a limited edition palette, which they do every year, but a lot of the same colors you can still get in individuals. So my favorite powder right now is the Morphe Daisy Danger Highlight Collab that came Whoa. out. I know, okay. I, just, I just got it on a whim. I went to a Morphe store for the first time when I was in Florida, and I saw the lovely lady that was checking me out had this gorgeous pink glow on her inner corner of her eye, and I was like, okay, stop, what is that? Show me where it is, I'm gonna buy it. And it happened to be this one, so <gasps> I looked at it, yes. and I was just like, yep. In person, it matches your hair. Right? I'm a sucker for anything Can pink I and sparkly. Yes, please, it's watch, so it, watch it, watch it. Right. Oh my yeah. gosh. Super iridescent. That is stunning. Right? And what I love about it, so I, besides obviously that's gorgeous, I have the teariest, wateriest eyes ever. Me too. Doing like a really dramatic eye look is a daily struggle for me. So when I go to do that inner corner highlight, most of the time it ruins my whole face. And I go for it every time. Because so is like, that what you have on now in yep, the corner? And do you also have a little bit on your cheek or no? I have a tiny bit of this, but the mm -hmm. other part was actually the Kat Von D Metal Crush. Oh, okay. I also like to mix a lot of highlights okay. together. But well, that one is spectacular. It is, and it didn't make my eyes water. Nice. At all, which is a super rare thing. So that's why I really, really, really love I this like one. that. Not a new thing to try. Okay, so we have to talk about lashes because yeah, you know we're lashes. all lash lash. Everyone's yep. always at. I swear it's like the holy grail in search of the ultimate mascara. So I have to say that I'm not true blue to anybody. I'm trying all the time. So this is my new fave. I know it's been around, but I like it. Mm -hmm. Maybe I like it because it's bad gal. I don't know, but I like <laughs> it. It separates. Gives me a lot of punch. It gives me a lot of, uh, you know, just. A thickness and volume that I need yeah. although for all my brides and anybody in a wedding I have to use waterproof Very and good. I don't know yeah. if this comes in a waterproof version or not, not yet I, okay. haven't, I haven't seen it yet but I feel like they probably but, will at some point but it's really really good do you approve I do I use this one for honestly since it came out and I okay. feel like it's tear proof at least right. so again with the watery eyes I never had a problem with it but I did really really love that mascara it was my absolute favorite from the second it came out up until uh -oh. up until this this new one came She's out. She's one-upping me again. No, I just, I, you know, I try new things. Uh, I know. And let me tell you, the new Kat Von D Go Big or Go Home Mascara is absolutely life-changing. And I will tell you that I am generally not a mascara person. I just don't want it to run down my face because I'm always going to wear a fake lash. Mm -hmm. However, the first day I tried this out, I was... I was absolutely stunned. I was so impressed by it, I didn't even wear fake lashes. And I oh, come on, work. that's not like I you. I know, I'm, but I'm telling you. She I never goes you, without them. I know, I'm prom I promise you though, it made my lashes so massive. Like I, How I many have, coats do you usually do? Well, that's the thing with this one, I just kind of kept going. One lash, one, one coat was great, but it doesn't dry and get crunchy. So that's mm -hmm. the interesting thing about this. And that's I think it's because big. of like the sunflower seed oil and things in it. It actually oh. is very emollient mm -hmm. and makes your lashes soft. I packed on five coats of this just to see what would happen. Everyone thought I was wearing fake lashes. You're kidding. You can just keep on going. So you have that on your bottom lashes now? I do, I wow. do. I love the brush. It is kind of a stiff bristle. It really separates, but it doesn't stab your face, which mm -hmm. is nice. And surprisingly, even though it is, yeah, yeah. Even though it is a, a thicker brush, which I will, I guess I should probably take out of the package to show you. This is actually my second tube of it. I've kind of 
went went hard in the paint with it over the last month. Well, you were um, testing it out. I was testing it out. Because that's what we're all see, about. We're all about how... testing. We're not going to talk about something if we haven't tested it <laughs> out. That's the point. I do wear a lot of mascara. But the brush is a pretty thick brush, and yet somehow I don't get it all over my face when I do my bottom lashes. Mm -hmm. It's I, huge. You, you have to try it. I want to. And, I want to. And it doesn't Dying run. It. It's not hard to get off at night. I don't need waterproof eye makeup remover. I mean, it's not waterproof, but I've, I've definitely watched a teary movie with this on and didn't have any issues with it, so. No, no, no trails of tears? No tear trails, no. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna try it. You definitely should try it. Okay, what have well. We, what have we got left here? Okay, so I have this crazy little shadow discovery. Okay. A fluke that um, I got turned on to from a drugstore. Never have bought from a drugstore before. I know that sounds like I'm being snobby. I'm not really. It's just I get sucked into the big stores that I go to for makeup and then I'm so overwhelmed with everything I buy there. The, you know, the lure of all of the fabulous stuff and then I forget about the, the drugstore stuff. I found this, I'm on my second palette, and it's really weird, it's really weird, but like when I offer people a, a, a choice of different uh, palette colors, what would you like? For some reason, they are loving this for the $20 that I spent for it. It is Soap and Glory, which is okay. great, okay, cool. and I just love this little choice of colors. There's uh, interesting, I'm finding a little shift now. People are going back to a little mix of shimmer and matte. Again, my older clients don't want so much shimmer on their eyelids because it really tends to magnify those wrinkles around the eyes. So we've got some problems that you all don't have, but by the same token, we still want to place a little bit of shimmer and shine where we need it. So what, that's what I love. Like. I love minking, the copper is really gorgeous. Today, I kind of went a little stronger and I did damsel and, and a little bit of this color as well. Then a little bit of smokiness in the corner, not as strong as yours, you like yours a little deeper than mine. But this has been a great tried and true palette and my brides love it and my clients love it. So there you go, who knew Soap and Glory would be such a big hit. And I, it is up against some other amazing eyeshadows in my, in my kit, but this one seems to be sort of a winner. And I think that's kind of fun when you can find something that's not, yeah. you know, 40 or $50 for a palette. Why not? Very true. I'll definitely have to try that out. I, I know, tried I want any you to. Palettes, I sure. know. For sure. I, okay, I do actually have two different eye products you that do? I chose. So one is not necessarily new, but it is newer to me. It took me a long time to order, and I don't know why I waited to order it, but it is the P. Louise Base. So I ordered a whole mess of them because I wanted options. I wanted to see what all the hype was about. I wanted to see if it was actually legit. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it is. It is absolutely really? worth it. So this is the primer for the lid? It is the lid primer. So I got um, right here, I have Rumor Zero. It was the pure white one. And mm -hmm. then I have one of the red, which is the Rude Boy Red. And it did come in a kit with some other colors, but this is kind of my daily combo. I love a dark red smoky eye. That is my pretty much everyday eye. I'm it looks sure you guys so have good seen on you. It. Thank you. Yeah, it looks so good. And this is my trick to getting a super deep red lid because it is so pigmented. You do have to make sure you pat it on. Mm -hmm. Are every... you playing with a finger as opposed to a brush? You use a brush. I actually have the P. Louise brush, but I have used it with the Anastasia flat one as well. Um, just make sure it's a synthetic flat brush, mm -hmm. pack it on, and then make sure you pack on the shadow too, um, and then blend it out. It is kind of finicky. You do have to do the padding motion that they always tell you about. Right. Um, but as long as you do that, then then it's totally fine. What about the other base? The base. Could I use that on my clients? I wouldn't maybe not use the zero just because it's pure white, but oh, they right, make it you in love skin that. tone. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So you'd probably go like a rumor two, which actually is the one that I use today. Oh, which is just you're not using like the white? Tone. Mm -mm, I okay. didn't use the white one. Um, I just used the rumor two and then I used that to cut my crease as well. Right. And it makes such a huge difference. Wow. If you ever want like a super vibrant look, even if you, even if you take a palette where the colors don't really come off super great when you try it on, you know, like, uh, like swatch on your hand, if you use this base under it, it's gonna pop. So it kind of amplifies yep, the color? It amplifies everything, nice. it grabs it, it stays. Um, but it's it's super inexpensive too. I think uh, just one base is like $10. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. It's not, it's not crazy expensive and that's really, really awesome. I mean, the set of course is a little bit more, but it's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna get this 
tiny little tube. And, for ten dollars, for sure. And you need the smallest amount, but really, if you love a dramatic eye, I'm telling you, it's it's worth it. It's absolutely okay. worth it. You gotta add it to your kit. I will. I will. I'll for do it sure. in the flesh tone. That I think the white would be yeah, just a little I'll too much. Yeah, I'll probably do the, the two for okay. sure. And they even sell a kit for a makeup artist that has all the tones in it too. Oh, yep. good little, to know. That's on their website. Yep, a little bit smaller bottles, but yeah, that'd be a good one for you to try. Okay. So that brings me to my last product, which I am what? super excited to show you. This is... So amazing. What's my in there? Orb of Magic, this beautiful moon. Have you ever seen such cool packaging? No, it's the best. That it's is, amazing. that's hands down is incredible. It's amazing. You just have to have it. I know. I, I, didn't I don't even, even know what's I, in yep, it. I didn't even care what was in it when I first saw this. I was like, I just, I just need it. Exactly. It's so pretty. Uh, this is actually from Black Moon, Black Moon Cosmetics, one of my favorite companies. They make great, like super fun colored eye, eye glitters and lashes and lip and just, uh, I just love everything that they do. Their highlight's amazing. So when this came out, I was like, yep, have to have it. It was on pre-order, got it. I know it's been out a little bit, um, maybe a few months by now, but it's still a current fave for me. So when you open it up, yeah, nice. it has a little logo inside. And then it comes with three of their eye dust mm -hmm. toppers. Nice. So cute. Oh my gosh, look so at how cute. they glow. I love right? that packaging. It's so, and their, their eye glitters, they literally make your eyelids look like they're glowing. So I, I love it. Is that the purple eye. you have on today? I did use a little bit of this. Yes, I, I did loved use it. On it. The outer I noticed corner. immediately. I love doing liquid glitters on the eye. I, most of the days I'll do something in the Are center. you adding that kind of at the end? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll be my last step. Got you. Um, this green, super fun. I've been definitely having this green moment. I lately. have been seeing your green looks. Yep, and I'm a little green. bit green with envy <laughs> over them, I might add. <laughs> And then the blue. Blue, gorgeous. I think you can even Blue's use so it, big this summer. Right? Just, That's gonna just, be just huge. Like a tiny little something. Mm -hmm. I've even actually gone and put a little over the lip. I know it's not how you're supposed to use it, but hey, I've done it and it didn't, you know, I'm still here. I'm still alive. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a firm believer in do whatever works for you. I don't care if it's supposed to be used that way, as long as it's not toxic and doing something weird to exactly. you, then just, just do it. You could probably even put a little bit for a really dramatic highlight, who's to say? So you always, when you order it, it always comes in threes or is, can you do the individual? Like, what uh, if I just wanted the blue? So some of them do come individual. I don't know if these exact colors do yet. Right. I'm assuming maybe they will make them full size. But can we point. only get it online? You can get it online. And there's actually a couple different colorways too that come in the little moon orb. So it's not just these colors, which is kind of cool. I definitely am going to have to buy all of them now after I saw how cute that is and have a whole little moon army. I it's think it's amazing. It's and then so once you're done with it, you can stash Yep. Anything you want in there. Yep. You can put jewelry, your earrings in there, jewelry. I love it's it. It's just a cute little thing to put on your dresser. I love, like the sustainability of the packaging. There you go. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're all about that. Yes, absolutely. So I don't know about you, but I, you know, I have bags and bags of lipsticks and I have them kind of divided up like my reds together, my pinks together, my nudes together. That's but so sometimes funny. it's just nice when you ask somebody, what do you feel like wearing and they don't know to just kind of have a nice little you know, that's nice. choice. That's and really I nice. love this NARS. I know this has been, this has been around for a while, right? I mean, they change up the colors all mm. the time. But I, I like this because nice. like, like I can see you in this like right now, it's pretty close. Yep. Um, but I love this red, of course. That's it's right. one of my favorites. And sometimes I'll use like the Cruella pencil, I even though it's a, Cruella, it's a chubby. Mm. I'll do the Cruella and then I'll just put this over it. And it really like, really gives it a, a nice little hit. Um, and if I want some nudes or soft pinks, especially for my brides, they're kind of loving those. So I've loved being able to have a little choice right in the palm of my hand. So I'm about having quick options, especially as professionals when I'm out on site and I'm doing makeup, I don't have time to rummage through to try to understand like a clairvoyant. Well, I sort of want a pinky, nudie, baby, beige, with a plum, plum uh, thrown in. Yeah. Like, a, like a matte gloss. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to just, had it you know. Dark. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> I'll go, well, do you see anything here that you like? And they go, oh, that's the one I was thinking of, which did not at all sound like the description they were just yeah, telling basically. me, but it doesn't matter because I have it right in the palm of my hand. So I'm loving this little NARS um, compact. It's been sort of my tried and true, great for touch-ups as well. And also nice in my own drawer to have it so that when I'm kind of in a rush and like, I don't know what color, oh, I'll just go with this. It's right there for me.
It's perfect. So there and you go. It's cute. Super cute packaging. And it's super cute packaging. And we are sort of about that, aren't we? Yeah. We can't uh, we're help ourselves. For packaging. I can't know. Help it. I know. Aren't we all? We like things that are pretty and look good. And besides, I don't know about you, but I like to have a tray on my counter and I kind of put my favorite things out there. And they should look sort of like their little jewels, their little, you know, special things that are important to you that, mm -hmm. that are a part of your daily makeup repertoire. So why not have the pretty packaging to enjoy? You are far more organized than I am. But I do like looking at what I have. It's just not, it's not on a pretty little tray. It's a just explosion everywhere in, in my bathrooms. I have, yeah, I have two okay. makeup bathrooms. It's bad. It's, well, it's a, I know. It's a, You've got your day, day makeup and your night makeup, maybe. Yeah. Is that true? It's just everywhere. My oh. poor boyfriend. <laughs> He's got like a tiny little, like itty bitty corner of the counter for maybe like a cologne and a shaving cream. That's all you've given him? He has a drawer somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think we shared some really fun things today. We hope you like some of the things that we picked Absolutely. for you. And thank you so much yeah. for having me here to share yeah, of some of course. my tried and trues as well. Thank you so much for being here. I think that, you know, this is definitely something important for everyone, you know, to know that it, it, it's all translatable. Do, you know, do what makes you happy, wear mm -hmm. what makes you happy. Definitely. There is a way to make anything work for you, for your skin type, for your age, whatever it is. That's right. Beauty is for everyone. It is. And everyone is beautiful. That's right. And there's nothing that can stop you from looking your best exactly. every day. Exactly. Well, that is all for today. Thank you guys so much. If you don't mind, please take a second and subscribe to my channel. It is gonna be a button somewhere around here for notifications as well. You know what to do. It's so great. I'm so proud of your channel. Thank you. It's so much fun to watch. And hey, please follow me. I'm on Instagram at Wadsworth Style or KimWadsworth.com. Love to hear from you. Thanks guys. Thank See you, you next time. Bye. Bye. I live inside my own world of make-believe kids screaming in the cradles profanities i see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep